Okay. Alright, so we're back up the top and we're rolling into Scorpion. Another blue line, a couple of kilometres long, 5% average gradient, so not super steep. Little rocky entry there. And Pete tells me some more berms, timber berms, log rolls, various bits of fun to be had on this trail. Again, my first ride down here as we do a bit of live commentary around the mountain bike trails at the moment around Perth. So we're at Kalamunda in the hills west of the city. My first time, my first run down this trail. For people who like to know the gear, Pete's on the Santa Cruz Tall Boy. They call it the Downhillers Cross Country Bike, which I love as a description. I was trying to talk Pete into being a cross country rider. And I'm on the Giant Trans X, the Carbon One version, just new to me, lovely bike. Courtesy of the crew at Ride Indrapilly, or Giant Indrapilly. All right, here we go. Let's stop yapping about bikes and have a talk about the trail. So first of our berms, these are kind of a gentle, very gentle gradient. And you can roll, but really to keep any sort of speed in this part of the trail is a bit of pedaling. Another one of those timber berms that they love so well on this side of the park, and they're really well built. Old railway sleepers, they tons of grip. And really lay into them. Whoa, duck the tree on the way out. Could be knock someone off their bike. But yeah, so it's kind of a, I guess you'd call it, I mean, somewhere between a flow trail and a bit of, a little bit of tack around the place. Blue very much the right trail rating. Blue is the trails that I ride and there's nothing here to be, so far, to be kind of scared about. Grass tree country, open forest. It's beautiful conditions for riding today or this morning early. But we're headed for something like 37, 38 degrees in Perth, so we're up early in the morning. We'll be happy to be out of here before the temperature arrives. Here we go. A little rock slabs and pop over that little fella excuse the noise of my phone ringing somebody's keen to talk to me but I'll have to wait I'm a little preoccupied it's beautiful nicely built sort of almost urban Perth trail park one of the main riding areas around Perth I believe and I think it's probably been here for quite a while based on there we go a little log roll based on the age and condition of the trail it's good old school riding love it absolutely love it I'm just going down a little bit slightly steeper now just down the side of the hill here but still not uh, there we go, where's he off to? Alright, that's a great log roll. Little rocky shoot at the end, into that berm. That was a ripper. Nice and wide logs though, so nothing to worry about in terms if you come up here for your first ride and you're an intermediate rider, nothing to worry about with hitting those. Stop and have a look if you like. And now we're contouring back across the slope, pedalling into some really nice flow. That feels a little bit different just here. I mean, there's a lot to be said for those timber berms because they're going to last for years. They sometimes they make the berms out of the natural surface. They can blow out, you know, breaking bumps and all that kind of jazz. Just character, but hard work for the maintenance crews. Nice little jump there. Even I got some air under my wheels. A good two inches. And just speed is just picking up there. A little bit of rooty, rocky. And where are we? Oops, I missed Pete going off that drop. 
that might be about it I reckon scorpion we're definitely down on the flats at the bottom now again nice little jumps nice little jump line to finish this section of the trail I think we rolled to the end of scorpion any of you uh, Perth guys that happen to catch this video I like the riding you get to do here it's really fantastic my home trails in Brisbane different different in nature you've just got some really nice riding in the hills and obviously some people that take great pride in the trails and maintenance and the build fantastic Thanks for the ride.